Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So now we're going to discuss about ICT. When we see ICT, what comes to your mind? What are the advantages and disadvantages of ICT in education? So I present to you the outputs of my students, the disadvantages and advantages of ICT in education. Let's start now. The first one to present is group one.
I present to you the group two. Present to you the group three. In our daily life, but when it comes to ICT, there are advantages and disadvantages when we are using it. Thus, we should know that there are limitations when we are using ICT. Here are the three disadvantages in ICT. Jadi kok, tak gua mau nanya tanya nang semin. Kembali lorot aku nang mobile je. Guys, ada kira kau nyu? Tidak, tidak, tidak. Kenapa tu? Tiada, tiada. Here are the three advantages in ICT. Go.
who are just an ordinary student will give or share some awareness for everyone. Now our first entry was all about those things or stuff students commonly use in every day life. Most of the students who are using gadgets only see its good cause. That's why we are really giving awareness. I see two girls with the use of different communication technologies such as mobile phone, telephone, internet to locate, see, send, and read it information. We still need to know what are the disadvantages aside for, of ICT benefits to use in schools, home, and school, or community. But we will see with the best five advantages that are very common to everyone. First advantage, easily access information through internet or social media. Okay. Second advantage, easy to communicate and socialize to others. Advantage online series. This is our presentation. Third advantage students can learn this to skill through. And that's the end of the video. I hope you learned something. So please subscribe and click the bell. And thank you and goodbye.